This might be your end. This might be your end. Come on. Come on. Yes. Take that, you bloody gaping dragon. Oh. <laughs> Lights down. Key received. And victory achieved. 20 humanities, homeward bone, and how many souls? 7,000. What the? 25,000? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Um. I think... This is a perfect moment for... Hurrah! Yay! We did it! Oh, I have no idea how many tries that took with... Oh god. That was the largest thing we have fought up until this point. And it looked like such a small, cute alligator or crocodile. Um. Mm. Yeah. This place is just wow. Wow. So he guarded the key to Blight Town. Let me see. Kiki. Opens door. Oh, nah. Key to Blight Town from the depths of the undead burg, swallowed by the gaping dragon. As its name suggests, Blight Town is a place of great pestilence. Even the polluted inhabitants of the depths are aware of its dangers and built this mighty door in hopes that they could remain safely separated. <sighs> Not making me happy about the entire ordeal with Blight Town. Huh. 28,000 souls. I need to take them back safely. No, no, no. No, 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 no. All of my no. So, is there anything else in this area? Like, we got my own armor again. Twice now. So, that is good. There is a door seemingly on that side. I don't think this really is a door, though. Nope, just the fence gate. Well, that leaves the gate where the guy was sitting. The the one who sold me the pine resin, which I did not require this time. Nice. Um, where was that? Not here. Um, this way. Awesome. This place is so confusing. Ah, uh, okay. So, my thoughts right now are, let's see what the start of Blighttown looks like. I did not clear this area last time. Not fully. So, you're still here. I can buy stuff from you. I, should I could buy Helm of the Wise, Armor of the Glory. That is quite... It's extremely heavy, but... Can I look at this stuff? Um... Yeah, I have no idea what I am wearing. Strange arm from the ancient land of Zina, birthplace of the curious dealer Domnal. The many medals are believed to symbolize glory. That This is exactly your armor. Helm of the Wise, the two horns are believed to symbolize wisdom, symbolize glory, symbolize a vanquisher, and symbolize an explorer. Yeah, I... Well, that is a shame. But no matter. Come back. Not it, Bill. I'm not sure if I want to buy his stuff. I think this is the gate they meant with keeping out Blight Town. Yep. Definitely. Uh, whoa. That instant huge change. Oh, God. How deep is this? Extremely deep. Um, there is a ladder there. You know what? I am going to play this safe. I am going to return to the Undead Parish. Hi, how did you get here? I'm going to return to the Undead Parish, give Andre that ember we found, so we can upgrade this weapon. Or any other weapon. So, hopefully I'll get there in one piece. Without being eaten by stuff. I would not like to be on the menu. Well, see you guys soon.
That didn't happen. What are you talking about? I never fell down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we all saw it happen. <laughs> Just shut your yap and hurry back. With a little bit more caution this time, okay? Home sweet home. Oh, first things first, let's sit down so we're safe. There we go. Awesome. Now, let the climb, or climb, let the elevator ride begin, shall we? Shouldn't be too difficult. I do wonder how strong the weapons will be. You've got friends! Hi! Is she the woman who's going to go down into the catacombs? Hi. Oh, hello. My guests have finally arrived. Yeah, I see. I will be departing with them shortly. So, I'm afraid I will be saying goodbye soon. It was a pleasure. Yeah, it was nice. Um... Oh, hello. Miracles, I presume? Yes, I know. If you're going away... Um... What do you have left? Great heal, homeward force, seek guidance, heal. Uh, it has 14 uses, but it requires 14 faith. I don't have that. In the slightest. Yeah, I don't think I'm even going to get near the faith Come stuff. Again. The effectiveness of the teachings depend upon your faith. Yeah, my faith is not great. So, hi! What? Um, excuse me? <laughs> well then. Hmm? What have we here? Hi. You look awfully raggedy. Uh, a bit. Time to grim. The least you can do is look sharp. Don't you dare meet my lady like that. You might scare her off for good. Oh, you watch me. I'm gonna meet her. You're not gonna stop me. Hi. You are undead as well. And we've no time to fraternize. I have my mission and you no doubt have yours. We must not let this curse overcome us. Yeah, um... Did I not explain the urgency of our tasks? Sort of. Or are you so uncouth as to lack such judgement? By the looks of you... I should think not. So you're going into the catacombs in order to find kindling? Did I not explain... Or are you so... By the looks of you... Hmm... Well, in that case, I wish you good luck. I got the tip to get divine weapons from someone inside the depth, so make sure you have divine weapons to stop those bloody skeletons from rebuilding, apparently? I don't know. I do know that that is far beyond my capabilities at this point in time. So, for me, it is one elevator right up. Andre, I have a gift for you, I think. Me, It did say Andre, right? I mean, I don't even know if there are other blacksmiths, but... Just in case, just in case... Um, yeah, handled by the blacksmiths of Astora. You are Andre of Astora, so... Ah, why, that's a fine ember you have there. I could smith some mighty weapons with one of those. Why not lend it to me? Sure. If you can smith me better weapons. Magnificent. You won't be disappointed. I can hardly wait to get started. Well then. So, um... First up, let's repair our equipment. I mean, the spear is taking an ever so slight beating here. Perfect. So, reinforce weapon. I could improve this, but no. Um, there's so many weapons. This requires titanite shards, too. Mm, the gargoyle tail axe. It does help with poison resistance, doesn't it? Hmm. By the way, I never even get yourself killed. I never even took it. a look at the Oh it I'm messing up, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I never took a look at this thing, the big axe, great axe. 
uh, this great axe is a veritable mass of iron. It's weighs its weight sends foes flying, but makes it difficult to handle without inhuman strength. And the miss makes one very vulnerable, as each swing requires the full force of the body. Yeah. Uh, how how much strength do I? Wait. Why can I? Oh bloody hell! That thing is huge indeed. But if I can't swing it, that does not look good. What does it look like with two hands? Still completely terrible. How much stuff? How much does this thing require to begin with? Let me see. Um, great axe requires 32 strength. Yeah, that is not going to happen. Uh, this thing. It gives poison resistance, a higher poison resistance. I'm going into Blight Town. I mean, look at that bleed resistance and the poison. That's quite big, isn't it? So. Mm, I should not be swinging that in his direction, though. Um, I wonder. I like the spear. I'll admit that. I mean, blocking and being able to smack. That's good. That's awesome. This just also looks extremely awesome. Uh, I might upgrade this axe just in case that poison resistance might come in very handy. Uh, well, let's see what we can do with upgrading. Be right back. Well, hello again. Okay, I'm in a bit of a dilemma right now. The thing is, I just upgraded my gargoyle till axe to plus five. It's decently strong, I should not remove it. Uh, mostly also because, yeah, the strength and C dexterity is pretty decent. Uh, my spear had the same value, sort of, I think. Yeah, D and C. So, not much of a difference there. The axe is stronger. But, when I want to improve it any further... Well, uh, you need... I need to modify my equipment and I have the choice of going for this path, the plus six, or going to raw. I have no idea what raw means, uh, no idea if I can even remove that or anything like that, I doubt it. Um, yeah, I need large titanite shards and I only have three of them. I have no idea how more of them I can get. I got a few of those goopy slimes so I might need to farm those. But uh, going into Blight Town, I think I'm going with the Gargoyle Till Axe. I love the spear, but mm, I'm really afraid of the poison. And just the sound of it, Blight Town. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Gargoyle Till Axe. I'm going on the normal path, so upgrade this to plus six. And we can improve. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, I can remove stuff? Why can't I upgrade it any f further? Do I need to do that back here again? Then. <gasps> yes. Okay, so it does require large titanite shards. Okay, well, hopefully this is gonna be worth it and I can... I can't do it one more time. I'm going to keep that final bit. Yeah. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. Again, not making promises. Not making promises. I always say that to him. Most likely because suddenly you have a gaping dragon. <sighs> so, this thing had... C... On the parameter for dexterity. I wanted to improve dexterity towards 20 for sure. I have the levels for it. So, dexterity to 20. I can level up one. I can level up two more times. Should I go with Endurance or Vitality? Uh, if I go with 20 Dexterity, it might now be nice to go with Vitality a little bit higher. I mean, I do have low health, so... It does increase it nicely by that amount, so I think I'm gonna go with this. Yep. Awesome. Having a few souls left, which I am instantly going to spend on Titanite Shards. 
because if we are going to equip more weapons we're gonna have to need to improve them at some point well so can you give me those tight knot shots thank you perfect five pieces love it go get yourself killed nope neither of them hmm I am tempted to go and try that big demon out now, but no, he is big, he is scary, he is way out of my league, most likely. Well, I'll put in a quick time skip the moment I reach the point we were at in the depths again, near the gate of Blighttown. That is going to be quite a long trip, isn't it? Yes, it is. But in the meantime, I can still quickly show how nice this weapon is I mean you're already gonna start shooting at me right see here we go that's not much 300 I like that perfect yeah this feels good this feels similar to the black knight sword not as amazing I mean it's uh Black Knight did more, but <laughs> it's good enough. Very good enough. Well, see you in Blighttown. And now only the dog remains. The annoying little rascal of a dog. Ow. As annoying as ever. Great. Anyway, since I am here right now, coast is clear, right? Dog is down there. There was this area over here, very well hidden. Where the heck does this lead? Like, they wouldn't place a drop off point right over here. And then make it kill you. Like, why would they hide it behind a few boxes? I might be adding a, another account to the death count here, but... I want to I wanna see what's down here. I am most likely going to regret this. Uh... Okay, okay. Um, pile of bones. This seems to be the depository of our butcher friend. Definitely. Where the heck are we? Okay, I see an item over there. Wait a minute. This is where the big rat was. Oh, okay. So, technically, we would have been able to skip almost everything of the depths. Including the bonfire in this case. To go over here, shoot the rat from all the way up here. What well, do you have? Spider shields. Ooh. Let me see, let me see spider sh Give me a moment. Can I get rid of the sound, please? Fire. Fire is better than water. Let's see. Spider shields, spider shields. Um, shield of the Savage Mountain Bandits. Uniquely shaped with a large black spider etched upon it. Has resistance to poison. Oh, um, wait. 100% fist. Let me take a look. Change equipment, heat shields, spider shields. It has less lightning defense, less durability in total, a little bit more weight. But it has resistance versus poison, apparently. Um, I might have just found a new shield. I mean, sure, the lightning isn't... It, it trades in two points of fire for lightning and it has more stability and a little bit less durability. We have a new shield. No more heater shields, we have a spider shield. Who would have thought that would happen? My god. Wow. Didn't see that one coming. Here I was, thinking you'd hold onto that heater shield till the end of the game. Well, good for you! Okay, so, uh, depths, door, uh... 
Okay. Random idea. Once more. Uh. Yeah, I skipped everything, didn't I? I now kind of have to go down here. Sort of. There is water over here. What I saw from up there. I had a perfect vantage point. There is a tiny little bit of an area to the left which seems to keep going and doesn't drop off. Um, very random, very random, very random. Oh my god, it actually worked. <laughs> it actually worked. Oh, that is amazing. Is it also on the other side? I couldn't see it properly. No, it is not. Oh, wow. So if you were all the way up there, you could see that. Wow. Okay, that is nice. That is awesome. Which means one step closer to the gate. It's right in front of us. And this stupid thing needs to go. These are so tanky. No matter how much strength I have. Bloody hell. Okay. Um, there's the one up there. So we need to avoid that. The rats gonna be an annoyance. No, nope. I want to focus the rat. Thank you. Come on, kill it. Thank you. Now the slime. You gonna follow me? Yes, you are. Slime attack. Come on. I wonder if there is something which you can use to kill these things faster. Fire bombs, maybe. Hmm. But I don't have any fire bombs. Yeah, I. You didn't sell any fire bombs by any chance, did you? Wait, did did I open the gate? Yes, I opened the gate. Hi, Shima. We meet again. Yes, we meet again. And you do not have stuff. No. Yeah, all this expensive stuff. Well, that is a shame, but no matter. No, not to worry. No. Nope. Come back again. I'm always available. Yes. Not every treasure is empty. There'll be more in store for us someday, sometime. He never shuts up, does he? <laughs> Either way, yes, I think I am now completely ready to face Blight Town. I have a spider shield. Oh, had a spider shield. With the resistance to poison, I have a gargoyle helm, which has a fairly decent resistance to poison, if I... There we go. Poison resistance, 171 in total right now. That is just awesome. I have two rings, I have four purple moss clumps, two of the blooming moss clumps, um, and I also upgraded my short bow. Did that off camera a little bit. Uh, I was already running back and I, then I realized, wait, I never upgraded my short bow. That is not a good idea. So, hopefully I should be ready now. So, uh, I'm still going to dislike this. I am still going to dislike this. Most likely. All decked out in poisoned resistant gear with a newly upgraded gargoyle tail axe. And a fair amount of poisonous moss clumps. I hope the big guy is ready to face the horrors of Blighttown. Let the descent into the madness begin. <laughs>